Hello, pick breakers and shape punchers. This is Jerry Duty Summons, and I'm here today to talk a little bit about Minecraft, or sorry, uh, Multi MC. This is a tool for Minecraft that allows you to have multiple copies of Minecraft on your computer at one time, and allows you to easily manage that. So anyway, let's um, first of all show you where to get it. All right, on the Minecraft forums, there is going to be a thread called um, Multi MC 4.1. That's what it is right now. Um, and there'll be a download link in there. When you download it, it's going to uh, take you to this website here. Ta-da! And um, the file it gives you is just an executable file. And that executable file is the entire program. And wherever you run it at, it creates a bunch of folders. So the first thing you want to do really is move that file. Pull this up here. There we go. So move that file into a folder somewhere useful. So in this case, I'm going to put it under program files, and I made a new program file called MMC, and then I put that file right there. When you run it the first time, it creates all this other stuff. And so um, this is just a good way to keep it organized. You don't want to run it in your downloads folder or something like that, because then you won't know what files belong where. Anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah, it's pretty easy to get, pretty easy to install. All right, let's launch it and take a look. Okay, so first thing you'll notice is a bunch of different uh, icons on the side. When you first run it, this is probably going to be empty, and so you'd want to create a new instance. So, uh, da -da -da. where is it at? There we go, add a new instance. Let's just call this test 101. All right, there we go. So now you have a new instance of Minecraft, and what that does is it creates a folder under instances called test 101. And when you load Minecraft, it changes all the variables and runs your Minecraft folder out of here. So this is essentially the .minecraft folder you'd find under app data if you're familiar with that. Back to here. So if, in order to, to run, to, in order to use the instance, you actually have to run it once first. So hit play. Um, I already have my username and all that stuff already in there. And then we'll just run it. It downloads it from the Minecraft website and installs everything properly. And it's almost finished. <laughs> Hurry up! Ta-da! And there we go. We have the current version of Minecraft, 1.3.2. So that's perfect. So we'll quit out of that really quick. So that made sure all the... all So running it that one time gets you going. So there's some interesting things you can do here. So... Uh, for instance, if you wanted to play an older version of Minecraft, you can do a downgrade. And this uses um, a tool called uh, MC Nostalgia. And so if you wanted to use a previous version of Minecraft, for instance, if I wanted to go back 1.2.5, I could do that really easily. It downloads, it downloads a patch, patches your Minecraft to an earlier version, and allows you to run it like that. So let's play. And there we go, 1.2.5. Perfect. So it's a really handy program. Um, as you can see here, you can actually do it with modded versions of Minecraft. So this one right here and this one right here both have Better Than Wolves mods installed. This one is the one I use for my Let's Play series, Better Than Jerry's Junkyard. And um, this is for the JJJ show, which is unfortunately um, no longer being ran. Anyway. So it does have some mod controls. You can edit mods. Here. Oops. Uh, yeah. I'm getting a weird error with the mods on that. I'm not sure why. <laughs> but in any event, you can add mods to be loaded while it starts. So you can actually, you can go through and add mods like you would normally, like by editing the jar files. But you can also set up uh, zip files to be added to the jar as it launches. And so that makes it a bit easier to actually kind of manage manage the um, the way the mods are installed and you know to add them and take them out later. Um, the only downside here is that a lot of times the folders you have to a lot of times what you download for a mod is not going to be appropriate just to load in like this. So you actually have to kind of build your own zip file by making sure everything you need to be loaded into the jar is in the zip file, not not under a folder or something. So this might take a little bit of working. Um, playing with to get it working right. All right, so let's close that. There are some other options here, like you can change the icons to whatever you want. So let's make that, uh, what do I want here? 
Look at TNT. Boom, TNT. What else can we do here? Oh, if you want to copy an instance. So you actually have a, a good way to just kind of, if you want to screw around with something, you can copy the whole instance, screw around with it, delete it when you're done. So there you go. Let's delete it. Perfect. And what else can we do here? You can manage the saves. So you can add, you can uh, import more saves pretty easily. Or you can even um, zip the saves up from here to upload them to, uh, you know, a file sharing website to share with others. So that's pretty easy. So it has a lot, a lot of options. I'm really enjoying. Oh yeah, you can even jump, you can even jump to a snapshot version. Yeah, so I'm really enjoying M MC Multi MC. It has been a very cool tool, and I recommend definitely checking it out if you have a chance. All right, talk to y'all later. Have a great day. There'll be links in the description.